Three, three, nine. Page number three, three, nine. So, by way of three stages, so actually, these are the development or meditation bhavana. So, the first stage is a preliminary stage, preliminary stage. So it is attainable in 40 subjects of meditation. So traditionally we have a body meditation object. So preliminary stage can be attainable by any objects of meditation. <coughs> the next one, assess concentra- uh, development Upachara Bhavana is attainable in the first eight recollection meditation subjects and one perception and one analysis. So I think if you look at uh, page number I think if you look at page number 334, page number 334, I think you will understand this one. So we are not, uh, we're trying to analyze uh, 40 meditation object by way of stages. We have uh, three stages, uh, preliminary stage, assess development stage, and jhana absorption state. So any meditation object can be attained uh, preliminary stage. That is the first one. Anyone? Anyone? And second stage, assess development. Assess development. But this is a upachara bhavana is very strong as you know that. Uh, so in this stage there's no hindrances in your mind. In preliminary stage, there are some hindrances, some hindrances. But when you practice uh, a type of recollection, the first eight type of recollection, we have a ten type of recollection. And then the first one, Buddha no city, recollection of the Buddha. Second, Dharma. Sangha, generosity, and one own morality, and the quality of the deva, and peace, you know, regulation of peace, the bliss of nibbana, and regulation of death, regulation of death. So when you practice the first eight recollection meditation subject, you can attain assess development, upachara bhavana. In other words, we call it assess concentration. And second, second, second stage. So man for the meditation method, ten type. Uh, is attainable if you practice time type of meditation method you will attain assess development or assess concentration upachara bhavana or upachara samadhi they are 
the first eight recollection meditation and one perception here one perception me trying to uh, try to have a perception of loop centers of food another one is one analysis one analysis you analyze uh, this body into four great element so when you practice these ten type you only attain assess development or assess concentration you cannot attain jhana the reason is you need to engage a lot of reflection a lot of reflecting upon many different quality of the Buddha Dhamma, Sangha etc so when you are uh, analyzing your body in terms of four great element so it need a lot of reflection and also it, it need a lot of vitaka application of thought so when you are analyzing your body into four great element you need to apply vitaka so your mind have to think you know you know element in your body so in that way so that we take up application of thought prevent one pointedness from gaining the physicality needed to attain absorption or jhana so that me when you are contemplating the quality of the Buddha you will still have preliminary preliminary stage of development of meditation so your mind will be very still but you still have the hindrances in your mind but when you keep on contemplating the quality of the Buddha then your mind is just focus you know analyze the quality of the Buddha in the Shrine Hall we always chant right so when you know the meaning you are contemplating the quality of the Buddha and the quality of the Dhamma so when you are contemplating different quality of the Buddha Dhamma Sangha you need to reflect a lot you need to use a lot of application of thought or we take your mind have to think one thing and when you chant another one have to think that one it need a lot of object to think so that me your mind apply you know we take apply your mind to go to different uh, object different object for that reason it will prevent one pointedness from gaining the physicality here physicality me apna apna me your mind cannot fix only one thing but you need to think a lot of quality of the Buddha the quality of the Dhamma etc so when you are analyzing your body into four great element you need to use a lot of Vitaka Vitaka brain you know your mind to different element when the art element is a uh, prominent in your body you have to think the art element the air element will appear then your, your mind your Vitaka have to bring the mind to the air element so that me need a lot of Vitaka then you will not attain the physicality of physicality that me uh, one pointedness of the mind your mind cannot fix in an object in one object for that reason it will prevent your mind to attain jhana it will produce only excess concentration so, and then if you look at uh, page number um, three 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 four and you will you will see by the way here it show why you know ten type of meditation subject cannot attain jhana cannot produce jhana but it produces only excess concentration but all the meditation method will produce preliminary stage of development or meditation one way or another it will uh, it will produce tranquility of the mind samadhi or samatha so here will be 10 type of meditation method that produce only assess concentration or assess development 
Number three, absorption stage of development. Actually, absorption here means jhana. Jhana. Jhana state of development or meditation. So, the jhana is attainable in the remaining 32 meditation subject. So, as you know, we have a uh, out of 40, 10 type of meditation method cannot produce jhana. It produces only assess concentration or assess development. But the rest of the 30 meditation method can produce jhana. jhana. So actually, now we analyze uh, analyze meditation method in terms of uh, different stages. So we have uh, three stages, preliminary stage, second, assess stage, the third, jhana stage. Any meditation method can achieve, can attain a uh, preliminary stage. Tenable meditation method can produce only assess concentration or assess development. They are the first eight recollection meditation subject, starting from Buddha no city. Then one perception. So when you are uh, when you are analyzing the food, you are contemplating the food in terms of loops and s. It needs a lot of we take. And also analysis of uh, aware analysis that me analyzing the body into four gray element. You can you can have only assess development. The rest of the dhati meditation subject can produce jhana stage, jhana stage. So now we are talking about jhana. Look at page number 339, page number 339, part number 15. The 10 casinas meditation method and mindfulness of breathing, all together 11 can produce five jhanas. Whatever practice, whatever meditation method you use among these 11, then it will produce five jhanas, five jhanas. Ten type of fullness meditation, or superpower, and body-related mindfulness, Body related mindfulness, Kagada Sati, produce only the first chart. Only the first chart. The reason is 10 type of Asubhavana meditation on fairness and body related mindfulness, it need we take. For that reason, uh, we take a, uh, you, when you are contemplating the nature of the body, you know, the nature of the body, different stages of that body, you need to use your we take, you know, we take have to, uh, we take bring the mind to, to think about different stages, you know, different stages. Also, when you are when you are contemplating body related mindfulness, so that means we have a 32 part of the body. When you are contemplating, contemplating and recollecting different part of the body, hair, knee, skin, bone, etc. So you need to, you, you, you have a weak thinking or thought, you know, continuous thought. So, for that reason, uh, together with the Vitaka, you can attain the first jhana, the first jhana. So as you need Vitaka, as you cannot o overcome Vitaka, you cannot attain any higher jhana. Because without overcoming, if you cannot overcome Vitaka, you cannot attain second jhana. 
Because in second jhana, there's no vitaka. There's no vitaka. When you are practicing, ten type of asubhavana and body related mindfulness, you need a lot of thinking, application of thought. So for that reason, you can you can attain only the first jhana. <clears throat> the first three elemental base, so that me, Mitra Bhavana, Karuna Bhavana, and Murita Bhavana produce four jhana. Four jhana. But when you're with Mitta, Karuna, and Murita, you have together with rapture in your mind. Rapture in your mind. For that reason, rapture and pleasure in your mind. For that reason, when you practice Mitta, Karuna, and Murita, Bhavana, you can achieve up to fourth jhana. You can attain the first jhana, second, third, and fourth jhana. Because it's together with rapture and pleasure. But when you practice Upika, equanimity meditation, it produces only the fifth jhana. Because the moment you attain equanimity, there's no rapture in your mind, there's no pleasure. You ignore, you know, rapture or pleasure or pain, anything. For that reason, when you practice, you can attain only the fifth child. Question up to now? Okay. Yeah. The last two reflection according to the table can go to absorption. The last two? Uh, the last two subject, which is the body and the breath. Oh yeah. Yeah. They go into absorption. So yeah, the can, can. Is only cannot go into absorption. You're right, you're right, yeah. For that reason I say the the first eight recollection. The first day recollection can produce only assess development or assess concentration. But the last, among the last two, body-related mindfulness can produce only the first child because it needs a lot of vitaka. So it, it cannot overcome, you know, vitaka. For that reason, it cannot go up to a higher child. But breathing, meditation can achieve, can be, you know, pro can produce any how to do the fifth fight channel. Fight channel. For, for loving kindness, there is absorption development, and there is no counterpart sign. So all absorption can take place. Oh. Regarding with the counterpart sign, uh, uh, without counterpart sign, they can achieve uh, uh, jhana, they can achieve jhanas. But uh, regarding with the counterpart sign, I, I will come to later part. So there are some, uh, some meditation method that cannot achieve counterpart sign counterpart sign because uh, metta karuna murita so actually their object is a on the concept of being concept of being so for that reason it cannot uh, it cannot be it can it cannot uh, on the counterpart sign is a, uh, not available because their object is a on the the concept or the being. So when we are uh, meditating, when you are using meta meditation method, so
So we have to radiate loving kindness to the people, the, all, to all living beings, right? So we just radiate loving kindness, concentrating, uh, how do you say that, concept of living being, you know? Then our mind became very concentrated, then can attain the first, second, third, and fourth child. Yeah, you're right, it's not counterpart. Counterpart sign is not available. Later, we will come to that. <coughs> Question? Okay. Aforementioned 26 subjects of meditation produce five material jhanas. Five material jhanas. So, uh, 26 subjects of meditation. 26 subjects of meditation produce five material jhana, rupa jhana, rupa jhana. The four immaterial states produce immaterial jhana. So a man 40, 10 meditation subject cannot produce any jhana, any jhana, only 30. A man 30, 20, uh, 26, uh, can produce on uh, rupa jhana, five material jhana, four immaterial states like infinite space, infinite consciousness, etc. So these four states produce immaterial jhana. And it, this one not very difficult, no? You just look at page number three three nine. Then by way of signs, actually we, you already learned that, but we are learning using, uh, how do you say that, Bita Mata Sangha, Minyu of Bidama. Of the three signs, the preliminary sign, Upachara Nimeda, and the learning sign, grab sign, are generally formed in relation to every object in the appropriate way. Appropriate way. So we have a three type of sign. The pre preliminary sign and the learning sign can be achieved in any type of meditation method in an appropriate way. Of course, when we are uh, if we are practicing uh, the art meditation, uh, the art casino meditation, the preliminary sign will be different as you are practicing breathing meditation in an appropriate way, in an appropriate way. And learning sign also will be different, will be different. Suppose you are practicing the art casino meditation method, your preliminary sign is the art casino object. Looking at your eye, you know? Looking the object with your eye. So that will be preliminary sign. And as your mind is not going anywhere, you close your eye, then you visualize the art casino object. So that object clearly appears in your mind. So that will be landing sign. Grab sign, grab sign. So that is a practicing casino meditation. So when you are practicing uh, body related meditation, suppose you go to cemetery and you see that body, that body, bloated that body, bloated that body, then you see, you know, that body with your eye. You, you contemplate, then I will die one day. I will be like this body one day, like this. You look at, you know, that, that body. Then, if you can grab that body with your eye, then you close your eye, you close your eye, then you visualize below that body that you see with your eye. Even though you close your eye, so that bloated, that body appear in your mind, 
that will be Lenin sign or grab sign because your mind able to grab that body sign. So what, what I mean is a inappropriate way, you know, it will be appropriate way. And also in uh, breathing meditation, breathing meditation. So when you're contemplating, breathing, you know, breathing. So that will be preliminary sign. And sometimes, you know, the air became like a, a how do you say, line of light, you know, like, how do you say, uh, it traces a line. So that will be learning sign, learning sign. So it became different. In a appropriate way. But the counterpart sign is formed only in casinos. We have a 10 type of casino meditation method. We have a 10 type of fun meditation, a super power. And the part of the body, the part of the body, that is the part of the body, and mindfulness of breathing. So, counterpart sign is found only casino. 10 type of casino and 10 type of fun meditation found the meditation and uh, the part of uh, how do you say that 32 part of the body meditation and mindfulness of breathing meditation so all together 22 so the count of a sign so just look at uh, the art casino so you close your eye you try to grab the original the art object trying to contemplate the art, the art, the art. So when you keep on contemplating casino object, then your mind is just focused on that object. Then there's no hindrance, hindrances run away. There's no hindrances in your mind. The mind is focused only to the, the art object. Then if there is no I want to say that that the art object became bright, in, you know, became a bright and shining sake. There's no longer the art element at all. It is just a concept in your mind. So as your mind is very clear, the art casino object also getting clear. So there's no the art anymore. It became, I want to say, replica of how to say that the copy of the the casino. So it became counterpart sign. Counterpart here me is no longer uh, the R element. The R element. It became a shining and bright sake. So it became a counterpart. Counterpart. So here the counterpart sign is formed only in the casinos. And Fairness meditation and the part of the body. So in the 32 part of the body, so when you are contemplating, how to say, uh, bone, you know, bone meditation. If you f focus on the bone, then you you can attain the counterpart. So the bone, uh, how to say, it's no longer the bone, you know. It became a white color very bright so that became a counterpart sign counterpart sign so man three signs so only 22 uh, meditation method can produce counterpart sign the rest cannot including uh, four element base four element base it is by means of counterpart sign that a set concentration or a set development or absorption concentration, jhana concentration occur. So when you because of counterpart sign, then a set concentration, jhana concentration occur, arises, arises. Maybe I didn't. You just look at this one. Appear on the signs. 
So this one also I already explained. Maybe look at page number 340. Actually, this is a, uh, the note from the, how do you say that, uh, from Manual Abhidharma. When a beginner apprehend a particular sign from the art disk, etc. So that object is called the preliminary sign. You know? When you're practicing casino meditation, the art, but we can see meditation. The art disc is a preliminary sign. You look at that object. That meditation is called the preliminary development. So we have a three type of uh, three stages of development: preliminary development, and assess development, and jhana development. Here, development means bhavana, you know. Meditation, bhavana. We we use the word meditation, preliminary meditation, assess meditations, and jhana meditation. It can be divided into three. But here also, sign also three type: preliminary sign, and learning sign, and counterpart sign. Actually, they are slightly different. Slightly different. So when you are practicing, when you are practicing, uh, but we can see now the art disc is your preliminary sign. Preliminary sign. You look at that the art disc. So by looking at the art disc, you develop, cultivate your concentration. When that sign has been thoroughly apprehended. Enter into range of the mind door. It became it came into the mind. Just as it were seen by the eye, as if you see with your naked eye, but actually you see in your mind's eye, in, in your mind, in your mind. It is called learning sign. Okahani made okami, you know, trying to grab it. Your mind trying to grab it. Even though now you close your eye, you can visualize your family member right away. Because you always look at your family member. You always look at your, you always see your family member at all, right? It became, you know, preliminary state is very strong. <laughs> Wherever you go, anytime, when you close your eye, you can visualize, you know right away. Your mind is able to grasp the image of your family member. Just example, you know? just example. Here also, when you look at the art disc, you cultivate your, you, you develop concentration by looking at the art disc, right? Your mind do not go anywhere, just focus. That is preliminary sign. Then you close your eye, you try to visualize that the art disc. That is called learning sign. Actually, Bhikkhu Bori used the word learning, you translate learning sign, but I prefer the grab sign. The mind can grab the art disc very clearly, as if you see with your naked eye. That meditation becomes concentrated. When one is thus concentrated, one then applies oneself to meditation by means of that preliminary concentration based on that learning sign, based on that learning sign. So that means when you see with your naked eye the art disc, so that is preliminary sign. Based on that, you practice. You practice your mind. Uh, you close your eye, then you have a learning sign in your mind. You keep on practice. Keep on practice. As when that so, an object which is counterpart of that learning sign. Actually, in the learning sign stage and grab say, stage, you actually able to visualize 
as a art disk the art element you can see the art element with your eye but when you develop your concentrations your mind became clear and free from hindrances free from defilements as your mind is very clear and the object that the mind take also getting clear so the art disk earlier which is the art element so when your mind is getting clear so that the art disk getting very clear getting shiner and getting brighter and there is no the art element at all no the art element shining and bright sake for that reason we use counterpart so actually that sign is shining and bright sake in your mind is a counterpart of learning sign learning sign counterpart of earlier art disk art disk it is well established well established but now fix in the mind fix in the mind so that me is shining and bright sake fix in your mind your mind do not go anywhere no do not go anywhere an object which is free from the flaw or original object original object so actually free from the flaw original object me so when you see when you see the art disk then you can see the art element so actually you have to use your, your your hand you know to prepare it and you can see some uh touching you know some uh how to say the footprint or not footprint you know fingerprint you know fingerprint on the on the uh, the art disk you can see them these are the flaws but when you when your mind is fixed when you when your mind is very clear those flaws you know also uh no see uh remove you know those flaws uh how to say are already uh, disappear disappear you just see it is shining and bright sake in your mind even there's no the art element at all so that is called a concept because a concept is not really exist so the mind created actually is a creation of the mind creation of a very concentrated mind a creation of a clear mind clear mind create a shiny and bright sake for that reason it's called concept earlier when when you see the art disk is a reality is a rupa you know is a matter it really exist but when your mind is concentrated when your mind is free from hindrances the mind getting clear then the object you contemplate the art disk also getting clear free from flaw of earlier signs no earlier signs so actually it is called concept not really exist the creation of the mind bone of meditation then it is said that uh the counterpart sign has arisen counterpart sign has arisen counterpart counterpart it's not the same as earlier the art disk thereafter assess development is accomplished but here we will treat about development preliminary development number one and now assess development so actually upachara bhavana is very near to jhana you know the mind is very concentrated and free from defilements but you cannot uh, you you do not attain the jhana yet so thereafter assess development is accomplished consisting in concentration of the sense sphere in which 
the hindrances have been abandoned, even though hindrances never enough. Like a uh, sensory desire, airway, etc., slot in toba, etc. So, actually, they are abandoned, but uh, so you are in the sensory realm. So, sensory realm, you still see a sensory object, shiny and bright saga sensory object. Following this, uh, as one card debate, the countable sign, keep on practice, develop concentration by using countable sign, by means of assess concentration, one enters the first chart of the five material sphere plane, the first chart. So keep on practice by means of assess concentration, then you attain the first jhana. In the first jhana, your mind totally fixed on the meditation object. Meditation object me, in this case, is shining and bright sake. Your mind no longer go anywhere, fixed. So that is called apana, your mind lock. So there's no sensory design at all. There's no airway, no sloth and torpor, no restlessness and remorse, no doubt. So free from five hindrances, then you take the first child. Following this, one masters the first jhana by means of five kinds of mastery. Actually, we already learned that previous week. Adverting, attainment, resolution, emerging, and reviewing. These are five, uh, five kinds of mastery. So by striving to abandon the successive growth factors, such as initial application, sustained application, etc. So that means you try to when you attain the first jhana, you still have initial application or thought. So when you want, when you want to attain second jhana, you have to overcome initial application. So your mind, you need a lot of concentration. Even you don't need thinking, you know. Right away, your mind stick to meditation object. In the first jhana, you still need Vitaka. Vitaka brain the mind to the meditation object. We take our brain, the mind to the meditation object. So actually, is stay need you stay need a lot of effort to do that. You know to do that. If you reduce your effort, if you reduce your concent concentrations, we take up my brain to other things, especially sensory desires, etc. For that reason. Uh, you increase your concentration. So then you don't need any initial application, any retag. Right away your mind uh, how to say the concentrate on meditation object. So in that way you abandon initial application. If you overcome retag, then you attain second jar. Second jar. In the second jhana, sustained application also you need Law, you need some effect. Of course, your mind is very stable, but you, you need stay some effect to maintain your status, status, status of jhana. Then, as you have a sustained application, you must stay shaking a little bit. Then, you try to overcome sustained application, examination, with take, with char. Then, you will take. Uh, Second jar, second uh, third jar, third jar. To arouse successes, set of factors. So in the second jhana, vichara, vitaka, uh, vichara, pd, all the jhana factors getting set. Such uh, such as sustained application, etc. One enters second jar, second jar. 
if you overcome such an application, third jhana. If you can overcome rapture, the fourth jhana. If you overcome pleasure, and the fifth jhana. It goes like this. So these are the attainment of five material jhana. Five material jhana. Actually, actually you, uh, you already learned in the first chapter, right? I hope. Question? Okay. Then let's move to the immaterial attainment. The immaterial attainment. Next one. Uh, next one with, withdraw any casino. Any casino. So we have a ten type of casino. Except the space casino. The space casino. That's the preliminary walk by contemplating the space that remains as the infinite. By doing so, one enter the first immaterial attainment. Actually, we have learned in the the first chapter, but this is a, uh, a very in brief, you know, in the, in the uh, ninth chapter. So the writer talk about how we can achieve attainment or immaterial jhana. So based on nine casino meditation object, we can develop immaterial jhana. So in the, in the fifth jhana, when you attain the fifth jhana, the fifth uh, five material jhana, so you, your mind fix on the shining and bright Sake, you know, sake. Then you're trying to develop concentration further. Then you're trying to extend, you know. You're trying to extend that is shining sake. Trying to make a bigger one. And trying to, actually to extend your meditation object. It needs a lot of concentration. If you don't have a proper concentration, you cannot do that. Then you can shrink, you, even you can shrink, you know, that shining sake. Then you can make it, in, uh, you enlarge uh, that meditation shining sake up to the, uh, how do you say that, as long as you want. Then you try to imagine, you try to imagine, so that shining sake. Space, space. No longer, actually, how do you say, it became space, you know, space. Then you visualize, you're trying to con contemplate that infinite space as a meditation object. If your mind free from hindrances, if you don't have any attachment to that earlier shining sake, then you attain the first immaterial jhana. The first immaterial jhana. But here, meditation object is uh, infinite space. So now you're trying to enlarge, you know, that shining sake up to infinite, you know. By so doing, one enters the first immaterial jhana. When one does the preliminary walk by contemplating the first immaterial sphere consciousness as the infinite. So in the, the first immaterial jhana, your meditation object is infinite space, infinite space. When you want to attain second immaterial jhana, you have to move your meditation object, you have to change your meditation object, the infinite consciousness. But here, infinite consciousness means uh, immaterial sphere consciousness. So that in the, the first jhana, immaterial jhana, your mind contemplate on infinite space. So now you change your mind, infinite consciousness, infinite mind. The mind that can contemplate infinite space, infinite space. So in that way, you attain second immaterial attainment. 
and third one so you're trying to uh, you're trying to contemplate absence of the first immaterial sphere consciousness the moment you attain second jhana when you attain second immaterial jhana there is no the first immaterial sphere consciousness so you just contemplate that nothingness nothingness of the first immaterial jhana at the moment of second immaterial jhana so then there's nothing there's nothing then one enter the third immaterial attainment the third immaterial attainment Let's let's we also I talk about it, right? Talk about it. I hope for those who want to know, then I already I I, I explain in details in the the first chapter. Uh, how do say the first chapter? So I want you to go back and listen. Then uh, the, the fourth immaterial jhana, you contemplate uh, the third immaterial jhana in this way. This is. This, the third immaterial jhana is peaceful. So this, the third immaterial jhana is supply. No? Supply. So when you can abandon attachment or craving toward the third immaterial, the third immaterial jhana, then you attain the fourth one. The fourth one. So actually, it's a gradual stage. It's a gradual stage. Normally, um, normally, um, when you have the attachment and craving toward the first immaterial jhana, you cannot go to second one. You have to overcome it. You have to overcome it. To attain second immaterial jhana, you have to change your direction, your meditation object, from infinite space to infinite consciousness. When you keep on contemplating infinite consciousness, the craving or attachment toward the first immaterial jhana, abandon. When you want to when you want to attain the third immaterial jhana, and also you have to abandon craving. No, actually, when you attain immaterial jhana, it's very blissful, very peaceful, a very high, you know, high degree of jhana bliss. So the mind will cling to that. The mind might crave to that. So, for those who want to attain the fourth immaterial jhana, arupa jhana, then you have to remove craving to the the third arupa jhana. How to remove? So here, uh, the Buddha has given the meditation method. We have to contemplate. This is peaceful. So this is peaceful means this means the ta imitriya jhana. The ta arupa jhana is peaceful. The ta arupa jhana is sublime. Just contemplate on that. So trying to praise, you know, trying to praise uh, peace and sublime nature of the ta arupa jhana. Then in that way, your mind is tranquil and there's no craving toward the ta. Arupa jhana. Then you attain the fourth one. Neither perception nor non perception. So in this level, the feeling, the degree of feeling, the degree of perception getting set. Almost nothing. Almost nothing. So in that way you attain the fourth immaterial attainment. So actually uh, this how we practice to attain immaterial attainment. Question? No question. Huh? Okay. Page number three four three. Para number twenty. Para number twenty. With other ten meditation subjects. So that means uh, the Vajra of the Buddha, the Vajra of the Dhamma, Sangha, etc. And also we have a, the first eight type of recollection meditation and 
one perception, one analysis, altogether ten. So with the other ten meditation subjects, when one does preliminary work by taking the virtue of the Buddha, the virtue of the Dharma, Sangha, etc. As one's object, when the sign has been thoroughly acquired, so the sign you when you are contemplating the virtue of the Buddha, then your, you, your mind thoroughly acquire, you know, a sign, preliminary sign. One becomes concentrated upon it by means of preliminary development preliminary development and assess concentrations also accomplish. We talk about we talk about we have a ten type of meditation method that produce assess concentration. No job, no job, right? No job. Sorry. Now we're talking about uh, direct knowledge. Direct knowledge. Page number three four three three four three. Final number twenty one. Have been in from the fifth jhana. Actually, this one we have learned in the fifth or uh, fourth chapter. In detail, fourth chapter in detail, we, we talk about Abhinyana, direct knowledge. How you can attain, you know, actually the, the author, Minyu Abhidharma, just mentioned briefly. So we have to go and go to Wisori Maga to know that. Wisori Maga to know that. And also, Pali Kana also just mentioned a little bit, you know, a little bit. So Wisori Maga and commentary will talk about the way or the practice to attain those direct knowledge. So here, this is a, a brief explanation. Having in March from the fifth Rupa Jhana, five material Jhana, taken as a basis for the direct knowledge, taken as a basis, when you were to attain direct knowledge, supernatural power, etc., psychic power, etc. So you need to practice. You need to practice to attain, uh, uh, to attain the fifth, the fifth five material job first. It is the basis. It is the basis. Having advantage to resolution. Resolution means you have to make resolution. Suppose you want to see the passing from United States right now, you no, know, right now. It's a second power. Second power. You want to see one of your family member in you in the US without internet, you know. First you try to attain the fifth jhana as a basis. Then then after that there is Mind or advising, mind or advising. You make resolution. I want to see my daughter. I want to see my mother, etc. Resolution. Make a resolution. When one does preliminary work, one enter. You know, preliminary work me. You, you just determine what you want to. What you want to. You want to hear. You know. And also, I want to hear. You determine, you make a resolution in your mind. And one enter into the fifth, five material sphere, jhana again. No? Jhana again. So you have to enter the fifth jhana again. The first one, the first step, you have to enter the, first, uh, the fifth jhana as a basis. Then, from, in mark from the fifth jhana, and trying to make resolution in your mind. You want to be like this. You want to hear, you want to see. And you want to create your many, many, many body, etc. Make a resolution. 
and also you enter the fifth jhana again, the fifth jhana again. Occurring by way of direct knowledge with the respect to such object as visible form. Then as soon as you emerge from the fifth jhana and you achieve direct knowledge and you will be able to see and able to hear, no? that is called direct knowledge. So we have a five type of direct knowledge. Number one, the knowledge of the motor supernormal power. The knowledge of the motor supernormal power. So that is performing various miracles. And you create, you have only one body, you're trying to create many bodies, you know, many copy of yourself, you know, many copy yourself. And uh, physics power. And you want, uh, when you want to tap into the art, you, that is called the knowledge of the motor super, uh, super normal power. And also you, you walk on the water, on the ocean, and you fly in the air, etc. These are super normal power, super normal power. And you go through the wall and you fly in the sky just like a bat. You know? These are supernormal power. These are called direct knowledge. Direct knowledge. Benya is special knowledge. Special knowledge. So according to Usori Mega first, so five times of direct knowledge. <coughs> and second, the knowledge of divine ear. And you hear the ability to hear all kinds of songs far and near. And you want to hear the songs of the devas or the songs of hell being. These are called divine ear. Divine ear. That's all the direct knowledge, one of the direct knowledge. And the knowledge of encompassing the mind of others. So you want to know what the people are thinking. Then you uh, so there, there is the, the method to attain this direct knowledge. Then you want to know the mind of other people, what they are thinking. That the reason why you know the Buddha and some of the Aran, they know the mind of other other people. You know, the Buddha knew what the venerable uh, venerable uh, Rahula is thinking, thinking, etc. The knowledge of encompassing the minor others. The knowledge to understand the minor other beings and persons. Then about four, the knowledge of recollecting past life. So the ability to recollect one's own past life. Wanda in Sansara. So you're trying to recollect your own past life. So many, many, many life. That is called recollecting past life. <coughs> and the fifth one, the knowledge of divine eye. So here you can see, you know, uh, the ability to see beings passing away and reappearance from the divine eye. If someone dies, you see where he or she will go. She go. And you also know where people come from, etc. <coughs> the ability to see beings passing away and reappearance in the, in, in the next life with the divine eye. So these are called five, uh, five uh, direct knowledge according to Minyo Bidama. Actually, we also have other type, other type. Nagadada Nyana, to know the future, etc. You know? So the Buddha, some people knew the future, what will happen tomorrow, what will happen in this life. <coughs> and also, um, uh, if you add the knowledge of distraction of things, then it became six. Six type of direct knowledge. Six type of direct knowledge. 
<coughs> so regarding with the direct knowledge, uh, you can you can see page number one seven six. Later, later, not now. <laughs> if you want, you can. If you want, if you can, it's okay. You can see. So here, also in the, the fourth chapter of the Manual Bidama, it mentions how you can practice uh, to attain direct knowledge. Firstly, enter the fifth five material jhat and try to master over it. Try to master over it. So that me trying to attain the fifth jhana, trying to master, you know, by using five kinds of mastery. Only then you can go to direct knowledge. You have to be master in the fifth jhana. Second, you have to make resolution in your mind. Whatever supernatural power you want to perform. Suppose when you want to see, you know, someone in a very far place, then you try to enter the Fichana, try to master it. Second, and uh, emerge from the Fichana and try to make resolution. And I want to see such such a person. That is called making resolution. So that actually this is called sense fear mind or process. And that Third step, you enter the fifth jhana again. <coughs> you enter the fifth jhana again. So this one, this fifth jhana is a base for the dry knowledge. To attain the right knowledge, you have to base the fifth jhana again. The fifth jhana again. Then, as soon as you emerge from the fifth jhana, you attain the right knowledge. When you achieve the right knowledge, then you will be able to see, you will be able to hear, and you will be able to perform different type of psychic power. So that is called direct knowledge. That is how you can take the direct knowledge. Direct knowledge. So actually, this is a uh, direct knowledge uh, mind process. So the first jhana attainment, Bawanga, and uh, fabrication of Bawanga and rest Bawanga. And here, uh, mind or advarting, mind or advarting, and uh, preliminary stage, then assess, then uh, what is it? CN? CH is a change of lineage. Change of lineage. Patika Upasa Nulo. Then Jhana. Here, the fifth Jhana. The fifth Jhana. Then Pawanga. So that is actually the fifth Jhana attainment before you want to uh, attain the right knowledge. Then make a resolution. Actually, this is a mind or process. Mind or process. Mind or advancing. Um, seven jawana and bawanga. Bawanga. Then after that, uh, you enter the fifth jhana again. But this is the base for the right knowledge. Bawanga. Vibration of Bawanga, arrest Bawanga, mind or advarting, Brika, Upasa, Nulong, Kotarabu, the Jhana, and Bawanga. Bawanga. Then, as soon as you emerge from the fifth Jhana, you attain direct knowledge, direct knowledge process. But here, Brika, Upasa, Nulong, Kotarabu, then direct knowledge, Bawanga. As soon as you uh, this mind process finish, then you perform your super direct knowledge. Anything you wish, anything that you have make resolution, resolution. So that is called direct knowledge. <coughs> so 
So up to now, question? Any question? Okay. Uh, better use microphone. Yeah, you're right. Right? Yeah. So that is just a matter. Yeah, so mm -hmm. even having this, all this jhana at this high level, it does not lead us to sainthood, it does not liberate us. You're right, you're right. So the objective of having all this is uh, probably tranquility or supernatural power that we need. But if we were want to have sainthood, without jhana, we were able to have sainthood also, right? But except for the first uh, Sotarana, you don't need to have Jhana. But for uh, Sakaragami second, you have to have Jhana to attain that. Actually, this is a very controversial issue. That's all? Question? That's all right? Because my, my thing, I just want to understand, I'm yeah. just very curious. Because it's so difficult to practice all this, you know, to get into the free Jhana. Then you, it does not liberate you from this samsara. the purpose of jhana is uh, to have a tranquil mind. If you are happy in your jhana, you don't need to rely on sensory things. Your mind is not, uh, not affected, even though you don't see, you don't hear, you don't eat. You, know? you are satisfied with the jhana. So that me. You don't need anything, just sit down, just meditate. If you attain jhana, your mind is very tranquil, very happy, very happy. So at that moment, at that moment, your mind is free from all of the attachment to the sensory things, you know, the first. So the purpose of uh, vipassana, we call it, actually the jhana is a samatha, tranquility of the mind. Of course, these jhanas, tranquility of the mind, are important stepping stone to know what they really are. To know what they really are. The nature of Nama Rupa, the nature of fire aggregate. So when your mind is very tranquil and serene, and it's easier to see the nature of Nama Rupa and fire aggregate. But when you really understand the nature of Nama Rupa, the nature of fire aggregate, as they really are, and wisdom arises, or insight arises. So when you have an insight, when you have an understanding, when you have a wisdom, so there is no attachment, anything whatsoever. Even to jhana, no attachment at all. No, att no attachment at all. So that is the, the benefit of insight or wisdom. So actually, uh, but here, uh, yes, without vipassana or without wisdom, you cannot become saint You, you, Even you achieve a higher level of jhana, immaterial jhana, your mind is very tranquil and you have a blissful happiness, jhana happiness, jhana happiness. But your mind, you know, your mind stay clean to the jhana bliss, jhana bliss. That so you make a lot of effect, you make a lot of effect. But uh, when you practice inside meditation, 
a vipassana based on jhana, your mind is very powerful. Then your mind is tranquil and peaceful. Then so when you use your wisdom or insight to know the real nature of your mind, your body, then wisdom arises. The knowledge to know what they really are. If you know the nature of the body, the nature of the mind, wherever your body, wherever your mind manifests, pleasant or unpleasant, it doesn't matter because you, you have an understanding, you know, understanding of wisdom. So if you have a, if you have a wisdom, then total liberation of the mind. But jhana, temporary liberation of the mind. The moment you attain jhana, your mind is, your mind is uh, temporarily liberated, you know. But uh, it's just temporary. But when you attain inside wisdom or understanding, it's a complete liberation of the mind. Whatever happens in your life, you know. So that is a, the purpose of uh, jhana is a, we use stepping stone, stepping stone for achieving, uh, how to say, to achieving sainthood, you know, or attainment. So regarding with uh, the question, uh, without the jhana, can we attain sainthood? A very big question, you know, big question. Actually, uh, maybe I will, I will touch on a little bit. I will answer a little bit. But of course, they are, when, you, when we look at uh, Bali Canon, especially the, uh, how do you say, the, the, especially the Nobel for Path, the Nobel for Path, the last one is the right concentration. In the Bali Canon, the so right concentration is defined as a Fujana. Fujana. According to Bidama, the Fujana. Fujana. But in some places, some places, uh, uh, so the Buddha said that concentration is not, uh, how do you say, even without concentration, one can attain you know, uh, liberation, of the, uh, liberation of the mind, liberation of the mind, by wisdom, by wisdom. So actually in Sanda Nikaya, we have one soul die. One soul die is called. Um, um, I forgot the name. So, in that soul die, so the Buddha said that the Buddha taught to the taught to the monk. So, actually, the concentration is not the aim of my sasana, but insight or vipassana. So. So in that soda, so the commentary mentioned that uh, the Buddha referred to, uh, let's say, soka vipassana, dry insider. So that me, without achieving any any other four jhana, so one can become arahant, even arahant, even arahant. So when you look at commentary explanation, so actually they clearly mention. So. Chalabanya. Some people became arahant with the Chalabanya. Chalabanya means six type of direct knowledge. So today we have a five type of direct knowledge, and you can add another one direct knowledge of distraction or taints. So, actually, when you can destroy all type of taints, you become arahant. But you become arahant together with Six direct knowledge. Six direct knowledge. So that me, uh, a correct uh, commentary. We saw it mention those who became six direct knowledge are uh, again together with the six direct knowledge, and they go through jhana. So they are one type of again or saint called sokha vipassaka. Sokha means dry. Vipassaka me insider. Actually, Bhikkhu worry you the one insider. Actually, the one who practice insight. 
meditation. So dry me without jhana is dry, no? dry. No jhana, no dry knowledge. So at the uh, in the Dhammapada commentary, the fact the fact the fact story of the, uh, how do you say the um, Dhammapada commentary is a Chakupala. Chakupala Thera, story of Chakupala Thera. He was a rich man in a Sabati, and he heard the teachings of the Bora, and he became the monk. And he took meditation method from the Bora and went to a remote area. And he practiced meditation. He tried hard, you know, he tried hard. Then, uh, uh, as he tried hard, he had diseases, then his, even his eye you know, disappeared. Sorry, eyesight blend. Eyesight disappeared. Then uh, at the end, he became Arahant. So he came back from, uh, he came back from the uh, uh, village to the Savati without any jhana, you know, no jhana. He became Arahant by practicing inside meditation, inside meditation. No jhana, he cannot perform any direct knowledge, direct knowledge. So those arahants are called Sokka Vipasaka Arahanda. So dry inside our arahant, dry inside our arahant. So uh, this is a very controversial issue. So, some people say, uh, Jhanas are necessary to begin uh, to attain Nibbana. Some people say no, not necessary. But of course, if you attain Jhana, better. better. You see, I think uh, the Bora interpret uh, right concentration as it, the best, you know, the best interpretation, the best interpretation. So when you have a right knowledge, a right concentration by means of jhana easier for you to have a right understanding or right knowledge but uh, when you have a assess concentration we call it assess concentration so upachara samadhi here assess concentration then you uh, you practice, uh, uh, you try to analyze uh, the nature of Nama Rupa in terms of impermanence, suffering, and non self. Then you, you, you become saint, for the Pana, even Arahant. So when you attain without any jhana, without any jhana, it's called Sukhavipasaka, dry inside. You became Arahant, you became for the Pana without any jhana. Your path is a dry, you know? It's called sokha, you know? Dry. So, um, but uh, a bit of my commentary mentioned that, mentioned that the moment you attain, before you attain Sotapati Sikhot, but you need to practice Vipassana, you know? Vipassana. So you, you need to uh, contemplate the nature of Nama Rupa, the nature of Fire Aggregate, the nature of Dokha Net. So the, at that time, at that time, you need Vitaka. So your mind, your, your Vitaka have to bring the mind to the meditation object. That's Vitaka. But you need to examine that meditation object. That's Vichara, Vichara. So when your mind is concentrated, so you have a rapture in your mind. That's a rapture. Then, uh, when your mind is a, uh, then you have a pleasure also, sukha. Another, you have a one pointedness at that moment. So, Jali, a bit of my commentary mentioned, this is a, I want to say, the first chart. It's considered as a chart, the first chart. Right? It's very controversial issues. Uh, maybe when I teach next year, I will, I will teach based on the soda. I will use the soda as a reference. Otherwise, I don't see. Actually, 
very controversial one. Very controversial one. Mars is zero. Actually, uh, Burmese Myanmar meditation masters, they always uh, they they are in favor of uh, dry inside. You know, not in favor of me. They 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 how to say they 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 how to say they accept. You know, they accept that the path without jhana we can take. Uh, saying you 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 can become saying hold. Question. If no question, then we uh, next we will study uh, with person. Actually, up to now we just finished some matter. So actually, according to Vishori Maga, these fourteen method, fourteen meditation object, are considered as some matter. Based on some matter. You can buy this with Vipassana. So next week we'll talk about it. So through Vipassana, you become Saint Hope.